What is going on everyone? My name is Kodamore and welcome back to Web Development Episode 16. In this episode, we are going to learn how to put CSS in separate files, which is extremely useful and I will explain why. Now we've learned two ways to implement CSS in our HTML documents. The first way is called inline CSS, which is basically whenever you have an element such as this h1 or header tag right here, we can add the style attribute and input our CSS right here inside of this style attribute. And that's really great if you're doing some quick prototypes and testing, but it's really not good if you have a ton of elements that have to share the same CSS properties. For that, we used internal CSS, which is where we used the style tag up here inside of the header, and we implemented basically a bunch of our CSS code using IDs and classes inside of that style tag set. And that's a better way to do it, except if you have a lot of CSS and you have to apply that CSS to more than one page on your site, then you don't want to have to copy and paste all of that CSS code onto every single web page or HTML file that you have on your site. And that's where external style sheets come in. Basically, what we're going to do today is we are going to put all of our CSS into a separate file and call that file in our HTML document. So go ahead and create a new text file. And right here, you can begin typing your CSS just like you would using internal CSS styling. So for instance, in my HTML document here, I have an h1 header tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the ID that I gave it, which I named it title. So I'm going to affect my title element. And before we forget, go ahead and save this. Now, save it in the same folder along with your HTML document or a folder inside of this folder right here, so long as you remember to write the path. But basically, you can name it whatever you like. I'm going to name this styles.css. Make sure you add that .css at the end. There we go. So I have my, just like my internal styling with CSS, I have, I'm affecting the ID title, which in this case happens to be this header in my HTML document. And for now, we'll just set the color of that text to, I don't know, red. Just as an example here. Now, if you go ahead and run our web page again, obviously nothing changes because this is in a separate file and we're not doing anything with this file. So inside of our HTML document, and you can do this in multiple HTML documents now, we have to add a line of code that will import or basically take that CSS code in that file and apply it to this HTML document. And there's one simple line of code to do that. You're going to go ahead and put it right inside of the head tags right below title, just like internal CSS styling, except this is going to be the link tag. So we're going to link something to this HTML page. Next, we're going to have to set the rel attribute, and that's going to be set to style sheet because, well, the thing that we're linking to our HTML page is a style sheet providing CSS styling. Next, we're going to want the type. Now, this is going to be text slash CSS. This just verifies to the browser that what we are importing as a style sheet is written in CSS styling. And finally, we're going to have to specify the href attribute. This is basically the pathway or the name of that CSS file that we're going to call or link to our HTML page. So in my case, it's styles.css. Now, if you put your file inside of maybe another folder within your folder, you can put the folder name and put a slash and then styles.css or whatever you name the file. But since mine is in the same exact folder as the HTML document, I can just write the name of the file, just like we did with pictures. And that's it. That will link this styles.css file to my HTML file and apply all of the styles to this HTML page. So if we go ahead and reload, now my title is red and the styles were applied. So that's the basics of external style sheets. I encourage you guys to get in the habit of using them because when you begin to have multiple pages on your website, you're going to want to use them because they provide changes much, much easier. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next episode.